Good morning folks, welcome back. It's been a while since I made a video and that was not because I was mad at anybody or furious or lazy. I was preparing for the World Hunter Field Target Championships in Hungary, which was an awesome event to the Hungarians. Guys, you know how to put up a show. That was one of the best run organizations and shooting events I've ever attended, so well done on that side. It was a tough competition, the score showed it, um, extremely difficult course, but different topic. Let's get back to what we are here for today. So today, I decided to do one of the most unfair comparisons you can. And when I say unfair, I mean unfair from a price perspective. So the first gun I'm gonna test today, this is my trusty old Daystate Pulsar in 5.5. And she is set up to shoot uh, 5.5, 16 grain is at around about 850 feet per second. And then on the other side, I've got this little bugger. Yeah, all right. So this is the Air Venturi Behemoth. Um, it goes with a couple of different names. I'll put that up here. But this gun costs literally a quarter of the setup of that gun. So what do you get for that difference in money? Well, the first thing that's quite obvious is the trigger. That day state with the electronic trigger, you can't beat it. But is trigger alone worth spending that extra bucks on a gun? So I'm gonna test this today, and I'm gonna give you as honest as possible opinion regarding this. I don't favor any of the two. I love both of them, I own both of them, so this is gonna be interesting. As you'll see on the Aventuri, this is not quite your standard Aventuri anymore, the Behemoth. I had a good friend of mine, and I'll give the details down in the description below, put on a slightly longer cylinder for me to increase the shot count. He actually set up the gun for slugs, but I actually detuned it again for today's video to be able to shoot 16 grain and 18 grain pellets for you guys. Nice camo modification on here, and this is the Discovery 4 to 16 by 40 SF first focal plane scope that I've got on top. Very, very nice glass for the price. Like a sunshade in the front, very high Picatinny rail there. So you need to know what your holdover is on shorter distances in that regard. Okay, so today's test is gonna be short and sweet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run them with three different 15 grain pellets. I am very fortunate enough to have the Barracuda 15s that I picked up in the shop the other day here. I've got some Olympia domed in 15.89 grain and then I've got the old trusty Jumbo Exacts in uh, 15.89 grain again and then if I have a little bit more time I'm gonna run a couple of 18 grainers I only have the exact jumbo heavies here but I want to check what it does with the Barracuda Hunter Extreme now these are two 18 grainers they're gonna run a little bit slower both of these guns are set to shoot 850 feet per second with the 15 grainers so they should shoot around 810 820 feet per second with the 18 grainers which is still a nice speed but it's not the optimal speed in my opinion. My optimal speed on uh, those 18 grain is around about 870 feet per second. So quite simple, pitch the two guns against each other and see what the results are. Today I'm a little bit limited. I'm on my indoor 30 meter range today. So wind won't be a factor. I want to see groupings and I'm gonna shoot five shot groupings with each gun and we'll compare it from there onwards. With a bit of luck, I should be able to get to the 50 and the 75 meter range later this week, and then I can complete the comparison the moment we stretch the legs of these guns. Both of these guns are capable to shoot pellets extremely accurately up until 75 meters, and for those guys that are better shots than me, you'll get decent groupings at 100 meters as well. All right, so let's get into this. Let's get into this. First up, Behemoth, 30 meters, and we're gonna shoot the JSB Jumbos first. I'm testing out a new camera in the background. That's the Canon R6 for those guys interested. It's supposed to keep the focus on my eyes. So let's see if it works. Okay. 
that's as good an opening grouping as you can expect. Wow! <laughs> Guys, I can't believe the accuracy out of this gun. It is amazing to say the least. To be fair, um, this behemoth, I had the barrel polished a little bit to, for the setup for slugs to get that extra bit of speed. So I don't know if that has a difference on the, the accuracy of pallets, but what I'm seeing this for, unbelievable. All right, let's hit the Olympia domes. These pallets are made in Poland. Let's see what they do. That wasn't the same as the JSBs. Let's try the Barracuda 15s. All right, so these pallets hasn't been sorted nor weighed. And it's also good that I'm checking the skirts because I found a couple of the uh, the H&Ns that had a little bit of bent skirts. Now, in a previous video, I know that doesn't make a hell of a difference, but I want to give them a proper chance this time around as well. So let's rip 10 shots. Okay, that's not too shabby. Remember that the purpose of this test is not to compare pallets, it's to compare guns. So if the gun doesn't like a specific pallet, so be it. Um, I did not let in the, the barrel after each round. So I do expect that there will be a shift between pallet brands as I go along, but that will also be prominent when I go over to the day state as well. So the shift in accuracy or pallets or letting in the pallets, that is quite normal, uh, but I'll be fair, I'll choose the best of the two groupings and compare that to each other. All right, time to put the little day state uh, on the stand. Let me just go and change targets there in the front. Apologies for the audio in this video. I'm now in my studio and I can give you some proper sound at this stage. All right, so the Evan Shuri Behemoth absolutely adored the JSBs. Those were probably two of the best groupings I've shot in a very long time. Moving over to Olympias, the first group was the leading in group, not that great. The second one, uh, let's not say that, the barrel doesn't like those types of pallets. Then over to the Barracuda 15s, first shot, that was just the leading. Second shot, quite acceptable, I'll take that any day. So from that perspective, let's see if we do exactly the same test with the day state, what the results will look like. Right, up for the day state in 15.89 uh, grains. Did I mention that I love the trigger on this gun? Probably once or two or three hundred times. Let's see what it does with the accuracy. On top, I've got the Valiant 4216 by 50 scope. And this little scope is turning out to be one of my all-time favorites. Um, I'll give you guys the details as well on this scope. There is a serious competition between the Air Venturi and the Day State. My greatness. Right, let's try the Olympia Domes. <laughs> oh, I love this Day State as well. How do you choose between two guns that are doing that? From a premium perspective or a price perspective, it's quite easy. But from a accuracy perspective, that's quite difficult to do. I must admit that the Day State shoots the dome pellets exceptionally well. The Eventuri did not like the dome pellets that much, the Olympia domes. But having said that, if you find a pellet that the gun likes and it shoots as good as it shoots the JSBs, why bother? Why change? Right, let's see what they do with the Barracuda 15s. <laughs> oh wow, oh wow. All right, on first 
view difference between a expensive gun and the entry level gun the entry level gun is a little bit more pallet fussy than what the day state is the day state shot all three batches brilliantly it absolutely adored the h &Ms, which the eventuri hated um, it loved the, the olympias which the eventuri hated when it came to the jumbo extremes the eventuri pipped the day state it was more accurate with the day states Oh, listen to that idiot it was more accurate with the JSBs than the day state with the JSBs so if you find the right pallet for that cheap entry level gun you've got an absolute immaculate shooting vehicle on on your hands all right I've got some time left let's push two 18 grainers through and the one is a hunting pallet so it would be quite interesting to see what both guns do with the hunting pallet they will be running a little bit slower so keep that in mind a picture is worth a thousand words, but I'm not going to talk a thousand words. All I'm going to say is with the day state, wow, wow, and wow. All right, but let's put these two next together and see how they did with the 15 grainers. There was almost nothing with the JSBs between the two guns. So when you look at accuracy and you ignore all the rest, these two were on par, but I do feel that the Air Venturi actually pipped the day state with the JSBs. Unfortunately, the same can't be said about the other pallets. Here, the day state absolutely cleaned up. Now, is this a different barrel? Does it just like different pallets? Or is the overall setup of a better quality? Honestly, I don't know. All I know is my test results show JSBs, Eventuri better, the rest, day state better. Let's go and have a look what the 18 grainers do. Oh, hi, ho, hi, ho. And it's off with 18 grains I go. <laughs> Right, let's look at what this little beauty can do with 18 grainers, a little bit slower. These are the JSB Cometa Jumbo Heavies. I don't think that's the optimum speed for these pellets. They are extremely slow. Um, running at 800, 810. But nevertheless, let's give the Barracuda Hunter Extremes a go. Same speed. Oops. That didn't, didn't go according to plan. Yeah, again, each pallet, different speed, different gun. The challenge with us as shooters is finding the optimal pallet and the optimal pallet speed. The nice thing about the behemoth though is the adjustability. It is extremely easy to adjust the regulator on this one, extremely easy to adjust the hammer spring on the back. Now this one has been set up to shoot 21 grain slugs. So the hammer is hitting a lot harder than it's supposed to for pallets and that might be the reason I'm getting some sprayed odd results in there. I'm not going to change it though because the results with those 15 grain pallets were immaculate. So all I'm going to do is keep the gun as is, shoot 15 grain JSBs. Why change a winning combination? All right, let's go over to our next one. Let me fix those targets quickly. The first grouping with the 18 grainers were quite acceptable, but the rest just then all of a sudden went haywire. So I'm not going to bother any further with this. I'm going to shoot the 15.89 grainers in JSB because the gun absolutely loves and adores them. They stay pulsar. Ah, awesome gun. All right. Let's rip with the Cometa JSB 18 grainers first. And. Man, idiot. All right. <laughs> all right, quite obvious. This gun is not pellet fussy at all. It shoots anything, everything spot on. Let's see what it does with the Barracuda Hunter Extremes. Right, 
So there's no comparison between the two when it comes to the Barracuda Hunter Extremes. There's also no, almost no comparison when it comes to the JSB Cometas at 18 grade. So even though the pellets aren't running at optimal speed, it looks like the day state's consistency in the barrel just way outclasses the Air Venturi. But again, let's look at price. Four times the price of the Air Venturi. So if you're looking for a rough and tumble type gun that you can shoot anywhere, anytime and has got brilliant accuracy with the right pellet, the Air Venturi is a no-brainer. You can buy four of them. So you can go and play around. If the one is a dud, so what? You still save a heck of a lot of money. But when you come to the day state, you can see what you are paying for. The bolt quality is superior. The pellet fussiness doesn't exist on this thing. Easy adjustability. Doesn't have an outside rig, but you've got three power levels on this. Um, if I have to choose, man, I love expensive toys. My choice would be the trigger of the day state by far. What an awesome, awesome trigger. But when it comes to value for money and having a uh, plinker gun having a gun that is able to carry out in the felt that you're not worried about scratching or accidentally bumping or anything the Aventuri wins hands down this is an extremely unfair comparison so I'm not allowed or can't make a choice between the two guns just based on what I paid for the two guns from that perspective let's go and measure up quickly give you guys the final results and then we'll make a conclusion with the two guns did I have fun? Hell yeah. Am I going to do this again? Yeah, please. I'm back. Back from Worlds. I am so hungry to throw lead. So watch out for the next couple of videos coming. I'll be playing around with the slugs a little bit as well. Um, there's some nice things in the pipeline. Some different weights, different sizes. And then there's some new brands that I also want to test. Right. Enough chit chat. Let's go and measure up. I think it's confession time. The Day State Pulsar shoots the Barracuda Hunter Extremes a hell of a lot better than my even more expensive FX air gun. So from that perspective, if you want something that is absolute build quality, absolute pleasure trigger, fork out that extra bit of cash and buy the Day State Pulsar. But if you're looking for a rough and tumble gun, something that is budget friendly, that can shoot the living daylight out of any CNA gun if you find the right pellet and the right speed, by all means, go for the Aventuri. Well, that's me for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. See you in the next one. That's all, folks.